Hi, I'm Nigel Redman, Ear Level Engineering. In this video, we'll take a look at the performance of our wavetable oscillator detailed in a series of articles on earlevel.com. First, a brief review of wavetable oscillator basics. To reproduce any static waveform at any frequency in the audio range, we first store a single cycle of the waveform in memory. Then we can play it back at any rate by adjusting the step size as we advance a pointer through the table, retrieving the next sample for output. Here, we see how changing the step size from 1 to 2 doubles the output frequency of the oscillator. Let's see and hear a sine wave sweep from 20 Hz to 20 kHz exponentially using this method. Excellent. Now, let's try it with a more complex waveform. A sawtooth is a good choice because it contains all harmonics. This time, we have unacceptable aliasing as we sweep to higher frequencies. We solve this problem by implementing a set of wavetables, each tailored to a specific portion of the audio range. We'll use one wavetable per octave. Each higher octave is increasingly band limited to avoid aliasing. Here's the result using our multi-table method. The multiple wavetables give us a rich sawtooth at the low end without aliasing at the high end. This concludes my very first instructional video. If you'd like to see more, give me some feedback by liking this video. 